how to connect your iPad to a keyboard and keep it charging. For that, you need you need an iPad. You need the USB to lightning adapter. And this adapter has two connections on it. One goes to the charger. And this is the USB host connection. There are two types of USB connections in this scenario. One is a USB host, which looks like this. And there's something called the USB device. Most of the modern keyboards that you buy has the USB host. It looks like a, it, it is just a square one. People also call this cable the printer cable because it is square. Now, the key thing about this square connection is that it does not provide power. The computer ones, which would be the, the other type of plug, which is the USB host, it also provides power, which is why when you hook up the iPad to a computer, it also keeps charging the iPad. But in this case, when you come to practice, you do, just don't want to find an iPad that has no charge. And the way to solve that problem is to buy this specific adapter. It's $40 from Apple, and there are other brands that are selling it for $15. I have gone with the Apple product. You can see the charger is just hooked up to the regular power supply. Now, if you have an older keyboard, which has the traditional MIDI in and MIDI out, then you need another device to convert this to USB. And I am using the MyIOI connectivity. And this end of it is, uh, it's the USB host plug. So if, if, I, if I were to use this keyboard, this would go into the adapter here and then it would work. The, the next piece is the audio out. Now on this specific keyboard, the Casio, when I bought it, it has audio in and I thought I will use that feature right there. But the problem is that when you are practicing with an app, you just want the sound and the keyboard sounds to come from the app because it'll be in the right instrument and the right tone for the given music. And on this specific piano, you need to hit uh, the function key and uh, then keep pressing the D5 for quite some time to make it mute. <clears throat> so since I, since that's kind of a waste of time each time I turn on this, I am not using the, the audio in feature. I just have the, I just have an external speaker, mini jack, just goes straight into the Roland speaker and these speakers are great but they are expensive i think maybe buying something cheaper would work well now when since it's hooked up to an external speaker i just have the volume knob turned all the way down to zero so there is no sound coming from the keyboard if i was playing the keyboard by itself you could always increase the volume the the previous piano I think is a little easier to use since the volume knob is right there and you can actually see where it is before you start. So in a nutshell, that's how you hook up a keyboard to an iPad and also keep charging it while in use. Thank you. Bye.